How long more do I have to wait before travel is allowed again? What is she doing now? Why isn't she responding to my messages? Long distance relationship has always posed a challenge for couples and in this current pandemic situation, it has caused even more inconveniences because of the lockdowns and the limited travels. If you are in a long distance relationship and you're struggling with trust issues, watch on as I share some ways that you can use to build trust in your relationship. Hi everyone, Leon here. Welcome back to my channel, the best place to learn more in less time. In this video, I'm going to share with you three ways to build trust in a long distance relationship. And even though I say it's for long distance relationship, these three ways are applicable to any relationships as well. I'm in a long distance relationship with my girlfriend and this pandemic has prevented us from visiting each other for 14 months and counting. I'm sure there are many other couples like us, and some may have gone even longer without seeing each other. There were definitely emotional times when we have our fights and disagreements, and there are times when we miss each other so much that we cry in the middle of our conversation. However, I realize that there's one thing we do not have much issue with, and that's trust. We have high trust in each other, and trust is a vital element in any relationship, and more so for a long distance relationship. So if you are in a long distance relationship and you are having issues with trusting your partner, here are three ways to help you build trust in your relationship. Can you remember what you did when you were scared, when you were still a little kid? I guess you probably cry for attention and look for your parents or caregiver for reassurance. This is the same behaviour that will surface whenever you feel insecure in a relationship. This insecurity will drive you to reach out to your partner. When you cannot reach your partner, you will feel even more anxious and uncomfortable. The more frequent this happens, the faster trust will be eroded. The bottom line is that insecurity is essentially the fear of loss of love and connection with someone you love. And when this fear is triggered, you will look for ways to re-establish this connection. If this connection is re-established, for example, if you're able to reach them and find reassurance from your partner, then everything will go back to normal. But if not, it will escalate. Therefore, be accessible to your partner. This can vary from couple to couple. What are some of the things or one thing that you and your partner must do, must do, must do for each other to make each other feel loved and important? If you don't exactly know what it is, I'll suggest that you ask. I know, I know it's not exactly the most romantic thing to do, <laughs> but it's the most effective thing to know how your partner wants to be loved and love them the way they want to be loved. So stop assuming and thinking that your partner knows what's on your mind. They are not a psychic. Most humans need to be told what to do. So communicate what you want and make it at least one thing to be non-negotiable that you will do for each other to make each other feel loved and important. How and what you communicate is important in building trust. Trust is built on your daily interactions. Besides telling each other about your day, you can share with each other your feelings, goals, aspirations, likes, dislikes, and so on. Every intimate detail about you and your partner will create a deeper connection, better understanding and stronger bond, which will form the foundation of trust. Be open and honest and don't lie to each other. You may think that it's not a big issue if it's not related to infidelity or you're not doing anything wrong. You just maybe want some rest time for yourself and you don't want them to think otherwise. So you make up some excuses or reason to say, oh, you're, you're busy uh, or some urgent things you have to attend to or whatever reasons it is to have some me time for yourself. 
Now, our brain works on familiarity. If your lie works one time, our brain will know that, hey, this works, and it will tend to do it again. Now imagine the psychological effect it has on your partner if they found out. Some stories they may be telling themselves is, if you can lie about this small little things, how about the serious stuff? Or they may be telling themselves stories like, I don't even know if you are telling the truth right now. How can I trust you again? So communicate openly and don't lie. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder, but they never tell you that the foundation of it is from a relationship where two persons are ready and willing to put in the effort and time to make it work. When two persons are not ready, distance will only make them drift further apart. When two persons are ready, every little moment and time spent together is one which they appreciate and cherish, no matter how many miles they are apart from each other. So live and love passionately.